Hello and welcome to City Skylines. I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, a.k.a. Swifty Spider, a.k.a. Architectnia, depending on where you find me. And we are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, we just laid out uh, an expansion to our rail network. Uh, we went from having a rail line to now having two loops, one tight loop and one uh, larger loop, and uh, having a line going each way on both of those loops. So now that the whole city is going to be serviced, and that ought to really help uh, help things out because you got double the line uh, going uh, for the smaller loop and you have uh, more access to the outlying areas of the city. So I think both of those things are going to help uh, the flow of rail traffic out, uh, particularly moving pedestrians around the rail. Okay, so now we are going to create a, a some residential areas. Now, it's going to be kind of in the line of this area, which if you remember it was at the very start. Um, we're going to do that on the side of this hill here because we got some great views. I don't mind them looking off into the distance to see our, our in industry over here. It's not too bad. We don't want to have a too good of a view of this landfill area, so we might not wrap it all the way around over here. But from about right here, and bring it on over to about right here and then um, you know I was talking about maybe one day uh, moving the airports um, because while the airports they, they've been in a great position uh, for the city um, they are kind of really kicking up uh, what would otherwise be just a fantastic view now one way would to go would be to say you know what screw it they're gonna have to look at the airport to be able to look at these mountains um, the other way to go is, well, look, um, we got we got the money, um, and we might as well make the city that we want to make, and take this airport and move it. Now, the question would be, move it where? My answer would be probably move it over here. Uh, that's what I think. Um, we could even move it to, like, over here. And I think that would be just fine. You know, but... That's a lot of work, and I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> it's honestly, it's kind of daunting to think about. So, uh, we're going back over to, over here to, to worry about this uh, hill here side here. And, you know, we might even uh, want to get into maybe a, a, this that hillside over there or something like that. Um, we might want to try and move these uh, this trash collection area back to over here closer to the industrial, and so that it's not so much in the view of of this stuff over here. In fact, I probably will do that. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started instead of me just listening to me talk. I always do that. Sorry. So, we want to have a good, uh, we have a good rail connection, but we want to have a good uh, road connection as well to the CBD uh, and the, the existing. Well, we already have a pretty good connection right here um, to that area. Um, and so I don't think we need to expand that, but I do think we want to maybe continue this on and somehow get it connected. And we also want to probably continue on from right here and connect it and connect it on both sides of this rail here. Um, I don't want to touch this because remember, this is kind of a miniature highway and it's working very well. It's getting my uh, industrial traffic basically to my cargo uh, rails here as well as to my freeway and out of the city and so I don't want to impede that by creating a lot of connections I have a connection right there I have a connection right there I'm not going to touch that again I'm not going to put another connection anywhere in between there I don't think that's necessary uh, or helpful so let's go ahead and start right here um, I'm going to go ahead and go up to uh, medium roads here and this is a one-way street, and that's a one-way street. Um, we might keep it one-way streets until we get to here. Um, or we can go ahead and go to a two-way street system here. Uh, but connect it off of here. So I'm trying to think about the traffic flow. So the traffic's going to flow here. Let's go on the right side of the street here, and it's going to turn that way. If it's wanting to go this direction, um, it's going to have to turn left and cross traffic to go that way. 
if I do it here, it's going to just go, they're going to go straight in cross traffic to do so and also be able to turn. Uh, so that makes more sense to me, having it go off of there. Either way, you're crossing traffic, but here um, you're not at least crossing this rail as well. And so it just makes more sense. Okay. So we're going to do something along these lines here. And then I think we're going to go up and over this rail. So go up and over the rail. Uh, see if I can do a straight slope to do so. Um, okay, so what I'm going to have to do is just go up to three meters back here and then go up to the nine meters here like that. I could probably go straight at this point. And then we're just going to go straight across here. Try and keep it to just uh, not have that middle uh, pillar. There is no need for that middle, middle pillar there. Um, now, one thing I might do, and I'll probably do this with the move it mod instead of backing up. So I might uh, bring the height of that down. Go ahead and get the slope down. And so oh, we're, we're saving, so bear with us here. We're saving. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So Guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll go to about right there. And now we are attached to the ground. I'm going to take this straight slope off. And one of the things you're going to do when you're building on the side of a mountain is you want to follow the contour lines. These uh, lines here that you see uh, with the uh, once you get the uh, expansion that show the different heights, those are called um, topo lines, or short for topography lines. Um, they're also called contour lines because they follow the contours of the, the map. This is uh, the common way that it's done in real life with site planning. And so this basically shows you the, the height uh, of the, the topography, the soil, uh, if you will. And so you want to more or less try and follow the topography as much as you can. Uh, it, and so I'm going to go try and go straight. I'm going to actually take this angle off here. I'm going to try and uh, follow this as cleanly as I can. And you're not going to be able to do it perfectly. It's going to be uh, maybe not impossible, but you don't want to do a, a curve for all these little waves. But we can do a generally a curve that goes around like this. And it's going to generally stay the same height. You see, it goes up a little bit and it comes down a little bit, but it's generally going to be the same height, right? And then we can actually bring it on back down here and connect to that road that way. And so now that I have that, you know, it, it kind of makes a, a nice even road. Now, some of this road is going to be more usable than others, and you can see where the grid is. Part of that is you could always um, plop rather than, excuse me, you can always plop rather than zone. And part of it is that, uh, you know, when you're going to have this, it's okay to have smaller lot sizes. It's okay to say, you know what, this is too steep, so I'm not going to build there. I have the road there as a connection, but um, I'm not going to start building and zoning until I get to over here. And... You know, the other thing too is I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to have an intersection right there and I'm going to build it off and have it come on up and follow the topography around this way. And I'm going to have it actually go up a little bit here to follow this topography here. Right? And you can go along here like that. And you got to be careful because you, if you go too far, then you're just going to have views of the ugliness that's over that way. 
and that's not necessarily what we want. Okay, so I think that's probably about as far back as we want to go, and I'll figure out how I want to loop that around or close it off in a little bit. Um, but now that we have that going, so that's like our, our road going up, and this is our road that connects over here and uh, does that number. Now, what we could also do is do a road that comes off this way, turns down, and then connects over here. And what that's going to provide us is a good way for people to get from this train station on up. Yes, they're going to have to walk in an S, but they're going up a slope. You don't want them to go straight up the slope. If you go straight up the slope, it's steeper, and and so you're going to have to have a bit of a switchback when you got a nice steep slope like this. Switchback is just the way it's going to have to be. Now, we're, we're leaving off this whole section of, of, of the hill, and we do want to do that. Again, remember, I'm going to move that, so don't think of that as your thing. The worst case scenario is you're going to see this train line in. You know what? It's okay to see train line, and you'll have some buildings going along this road here as well, and that will also help mitigate that. Um, now, the thing is, is we're starting to have a lot of intersection for this one little area here, and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move to this. Actually, I probably should have done that. Um, well, you know what? For these these roads, that's actually probably appropriate that I, I had a, a larger road there with the turn lane. Uh, but but now I think it's appropriate that I go ahead and go to this uh, suburban street here. And um, usually you don't want to do something so close to this intersection, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click it right about there, and um, it's going to come around this way like that, and then start to follow contours. Now this is getting a little bit complicated, so I'm going to turn this back on to help me know where my contours are. Okay, so I'm going to basically follow this line around here, like that. Okay, and then uh, you could do one or two things. You can either switch back and, and, and kind of go back up, or you can try and connect down this way. Uh, somehow or another. And what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to choose to go ahead and switch back here. Uh, switch back is just these tight turns that you do uh, that also goes down in elevation. Because um, you're, you're basically you're you're going up the mountain, you're switching back, and you're going up, and then you switch back, and you go up, and you switch back, and you go up, and that's a common way to get up a really steep mountain or hill. Okay, and then we have that nice connection there. Now, I don't like that because part of this is that, you know, we're going to want to also possibly uh, turn left there, and so we want it to be a little bit more perpendicular than it was. Okay, and so now we're starting to get um, zone all along the side of this mountain here where we can build some stuff up now. This is really super steep. You see how the grass isn't there anymore and it's, uh, it's basically just rock. That's basically a cliffside. Um, at that point, it's too steep. Um, I could either do one of two things. I could get my... Um, landscaping tools out and I could smooth this out to make it a little bit less steep um, and then build on it or I can just and what I like to do is I'm just gonna utilize what I got here and I'm gonna actually pull off of this road here about right there and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna follow that that top ridge around so you're gonna have some really nice uh, plots here that have a commanding view out over uh, to to where our, our city is. And it's going to curve on around here like this. And then, you know, going out that way looks great. And then about here it wants to stop. So that's where I'm going to stop it. And um, we'll just go ahead and turn around. And then we'll follow just behind it. Okay, and 
you know, this is never going to be super high uh, efficiency. If you want high efficiency and you want the grid, don't build on the side of a hill. <laughs> it just, it's not gonna, it's not ever going to be there. And and you don't want to force it. Having these curves, you notice I'm following the topography around. Yes, I'm going up and down, and you know, here I'm gonna have to probably mess with that so it doesn't look so funky like that. Um, but you, you got to also remember that when buildings start to build, they're not just going to be right here. They're going to extend out to where your grid is. So you're going to have to be careful about your zoning. Um, if you just you could you could just zone everything where there's grid, but that doesn't always look great. And so you want to think about that as well. Um, and so we got that going there. Um, I think honestly, I think that's about it. Um, you know, the other, only other thing I can think of is we might uh, bring a road down this way that connects up just to have a back way out of this neighborhood um, that connects up over here because I can see people wanting to uh, drive to work or something like that. And so we'll go back up to a larger size road for this part here. And um, we'll just bring it on down. Um, trying to follow the topography a little bit to, to do so. And I might as well just bring it on down this way, like that. Right? Because you're not going to want to necessarily turn left to go this way. If you did, you'd probably just come down this road over here. But you know what? I could be wrong. This might actually end up being faster. So what we can also do is we can do a little connection that goes this way. And do it like that. So you could turn left here and then go off that way if it makes more sense for you. Okay. And, you know, I could zone a little bit more over here. Um, but then that's just got great views of the industrial, which is not what we want, right? We want views out towards the city. So I'm going to leave it at that. Let's go ahead and get our, our water piping set up for this area so I'm not worrying about it later. So I'm going to grab off of this here, follow the grid here so that everything that is gridded is going to be covered as I, as I want to zone it. And same thing going all the way up this valley here um, to here. And we can go ahead and connect that and get that covered as well, as well. And then we'll follow this road on up. We don't have to follow it perfectly. Too much about getting this all gorgeous and perfect. It covers the area, okay? Um, yeah, it's a little convoluted. It's not how it would be done in real life, but uh, it's pipes. Who cares? All right. So that's all done. Okay. Now uh, we can start zoning. So this is going to be all just low. Uh, what's it called? Low density residential. Okay. And I'm going to use the marquee function to do this so that I don't overdo it. Now actually doing it um, with the fill isn't a bad idea either. You can kind of just plop along here. Um, and it, it's, but you, you're going to want to switch to the marquee in a little bit and I'll show you where. So I'm just going to do this along here um, and I'm going to stop it right about there. Um, I'll go ahead and put that one on. But I'm not going to do it along because it's just too, it's too steep right now. Here, it's not too steep because while it is steep, it'll just pop it up. And um, I don't, that that just makes sense to me. Okay. Um, here, I'm not going to do it. It's just too shallow. Um, and then obviously here we can definitely get it going. Here. I'm not going to do it right there because I'm already doing it back there. Right, okay, now, 
Uh, I'm going to leave this area near, near the junction alone. And instead I'm going to go ahead and plop it along over here. And I'm going to leave it at that uh, for that section. I will go ahead and do this section over here though. Um, now, I'm not going to do across the street because, again, I think it's just too uh, steep right here. You can maybe get away with one or two houses here and call it that a day. All right. Now, once we get up here, we're steep. We're, we're flat enough that we can go ahead and, and zone it, and it will be just fine. Right? And you also want to think, okay, what are those looking at? Those are looking off this way, and you see this close hillside, and you see those mountains in Memphis, that's a gorgeous view. I mean, that is just, oh, what a view that'll be. Um, I want one of those houses. Okay. And, I mean, bring it on around to probably about right there. Uh, we could all go almost go all the way down, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll leave it right there. And then you just do it across the street. And, you know, here, you notice I'm not going to do these, because even though those are pretty flat, this is going to be lifted up, and that's not going to be flat anymore. But I am going to do these across the street, because again, those are going to be the best views and then uh, we can go ahead and start doing it over here and you want to think okay if I had my house here would it be a great view you're starting to get a not so great view over there, but this is all great view, right? So, let that, we'll leave that one off, and we won't do it until we get to over here, where we're basically in the woods, and the woods are going to pull that off, and then obviously all this can, can do it. But who's going to win? Is it going to be up at the top, or is it going to be down at the bottom? And I think we'll, we'll let the, the top be the winner, because this is going to be the prime real estate um, along the edge here, okay? Now, here, we have better zoning up there, so I'm going to go ahead and move it up to there. And uh, call it a but all this will stay unzoned. All that's going to stay unzoned. Yeah. And, yeah, so now we're zoned up. Okay. Now, at some point, we're probably going to need to, to worry about power. So let's go ahead and we'll do the suburban power line. I got the solar parking. Uh, which will be cool, but I'm not going to do that here. And I think I'm going to want to come up the back side of this over here. So we'll go off of this existing one right here, right? Come up to here, and we'll go up this way, over, down, and nobody will ever notice this again, probably. That'll give us a really good seed. And then for the front side, we'll honestly just have it separate. And we'll have it come over to here and then over to there. And we'll let that seed over here. Now, we can have a few com uh, commercial, but honestly, I'm going to do that manually by plopping. Because if we're going to have uh, commercial, it's just going to be certain things. We're going to have like a small little grocery store maybe a gas station or something like that. And that's going to be about it. You're not going to have too many main stores. You're going to have to drive into town to go to the main stores, right? So that's how that's going to work. And let's go ahead and let it play. Now, we do have a few minutes left in the episode, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let y'all watch this in cinematic format. And I want to thank you again for watching uh, my videos. Uh, thank you so much. And, you know, like, subscribe, um, give me a comment. Uh, I'm going to start a new series pretty quick here. So uh, I'm hoping that y'all will like that as well. 
and I will talk to you later. Bye.